On Friday, I left Seattle and headed to Portland to meet up with some friends. We met up in Knob Hill at a bar called Nobby's. It's a nice time. And then that night, I got serenaded all night by rain. So of course there's lots of choices of great coffee places and breakfast places here in Portland. Uh, Portland just seems to be a great food and coffee town. Um, but I think I'm going to head to Groundwork Coffee. It is my old favorite coffee back from California. Uh, California based, started in LA. Uh, they have an outlet here in Portland and I I can get Groundwork coffee beans uh, around Seattle, but they don't have my favorite blend. So since I'm here, let me go check them out and see if they have my favorite coffee. Um, well, my old favorite coffee and see if it's still my favorite, see if I still like it. Uh, because it is just down the hill from me here. So um, the rain has got me in kind of a slow mood but I'm a little bit uh, perked up to go see if uh, they've got my old favorite. You wouldn't know this unless you lived in the Pacific Northwest, but Dutch Brothers, that little place there, is an institution up here. People just love that place. I've never actually tried it. Uh, I've heard that most of their coffee is uh, better if it's like sweetened and they have, they have a little puppuccino, they call it, a little uh, cappuccino-like thing that they make for your dog. Um, it's all kind of sweet and uh, I don't know. You know, not my kind of coffee, but um, I just thought it's funny that that place, Dutch Brothers, is right near my favorite place. Groundwork. Different kind of coffee for different kind of people. So I'm very happy to report that Groundwork here does carry my favorite coffee bean and coffee blend, I should say. And it's also their uh, regular espresso blend that they use in all of their lattes. So I ordered an oat milk latte and I think I can say that it's still my favorite. Or maybe it's just that I haven't had it for so long. I'm just really enjoying it. But in any case, it's really, really good. Well, when looking at Google Maps and deciding where I was going to head to next, I noticed a little French bakery that was just a couple blocks away. So I walked around the corner there and they had bread that looked amazing. I'm a little picky when it comes to bread, but I usually like sourdough bread and they had a Campania, which is a French style sourdough. I know I'm probably mispronouncing that. You can uh, correct me so I know how to pronounce it correctly. And then of course, I'll just immediately forget the correct pronunciation and still call this Campania. But this is a sourdough. It's got a nice soft texture and the outside is very crisp. Uh, this is my kind of bread. I. I just sampled a little piece of this and 
my goodness, this is good. And so that's for later. Um, and I decided to get a little apple tart for breakfast. Well, that looks quite tasty. I still haven't decided which way to go, but I think I'll work on this for now. And I'm enjoying the weather a little bit because there's a little bit of sunshine outside. Just a little bit of sunshine. Looks like the rain might be heading back, but um, yeah, I'll leave the door open because, you know, we don't worry about stealth. Stealth is non-existent. So leave the door open, enjoy the weather since it's not pouring down rain right now and enjoy my little French apple tart. At this point, I decided to just head downtown. Since the weather's so nice, I just decided to get out of the van and walk around. So I'm gonna head down to the Keenan store and see if there's any shoes that I like. You never know, shopping. I really shouldn't be doing any shopping, but at least I'm out and about enjoying the sun. Well, I didn't see anything I wanted here at the Keenan store, but I don't really need shoes anyway, and I really shouldn't be spending any money anyway. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy a walk walk around because look the sun is still shining Well, the weather's been pretty nice. I've been walking around down here. Haven't spent a whole lot of time down here before, so I've enjoyed walking around, especially because it was sunny right up until a minute ago. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. I um, think it's time for lunch, though, so I'm gonna head over. I think I'm gonna head over and get a pizza from a place I've gotten pizza from a few times before. Trouble is, it's on the other side of the river, so it might take me a few minutes to get there. Well, as I consulted Google Maps to see which way to go, I decided to not go to the pizza place because I saw that there was a market here on Saturdays. So I just parked and started walking. That may have been a bad decision because it's now rainy. Hopefully the market is worth getting wet and chilly. <laughs> oh well. a neat little market but there really wasn't anything I wanted to eat over there so I'm just gonna walk downtown hope I find something there's got to be something yeah this ATM looks legit so I decided to try this little Mexican food place it had some of the best, most authentic Mexican food I've had in a long time.
So I just went into Powell's bookstore. It's an iconic bookstore here in Portland. I was gonna get a book and a cup of coffee, but wow, it was crowded in there. I'm gonna find a coffee someplace else. And I don't really read anyway. Oh yeah, the rain is back. With all this coffee I've been drinking, you probably want to know how I would rate it. But in my opinion, it's kind of silly to rate coffee when you get it in Portland because it doesn't seem like you can get a bad cup. It doesn't seem like you can get a bad cup uh, unless you go there. But yeah, minus that, can't get a bad cup of coffee here in Portland. So I've been out walking around all day and just as I get back to the van, it starts raining again. I've been kind of lucky today with the weather. When I've been out, I haven't really gotten too wet. When I've been in the van is when it seems to be raining. Not too bad. I think now seems like a good time to get pizza. So that pizza was great, but I was sitting outside. I was sitting in front of the fire, but I am freezing cold. Uh, I just checked my temperature gauge. Well, it says 50 degrees now. It said 46 when I got into the van uh, just about three minutes ago. So I've got my heater on. My heater's been running about three minutes. Um, warming up in here, but I'm cold and I'm tired. So I think I'm gonna call it quits today. Um, really good day of food and coffee, but lots of walking and lots of driving too. So I'm kind of tuckered out. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. Maybe I'll watch a movie. Um, I don't really care what I do now, as long as I'm near my heater. Because, uh, ooh, I don't know, I, uh, I'm gonna warm up and chill out and probably go to bed early. More, more exploring Portland tomorrow, I think. Maybe, probably. Well, I'm still here in Portland. What else am I gonna do, right? Well, I zonked out last night. I did watch a movie before I went to sleep but um, I didn't have any cell phone reception. Well, I guess I had a little bit, um, but not enough to stream anything. So in cases like this, I always kind of plan ahead and I keep a few movies uh, downloaded on my phone just so I have something to occupy myself with if I'm, you know, someplace and uh, just I need something to get me to sleep. Kind of the old days, I used to watch TV before I went to sleep. And of course I don't have a TV anymore. Um, not that that's a good thing to do, but, you know, a lot of us do that. So I kind of did that last night. I just uh, turned on an old Top Gear episode that I had on my phone, and um, I think I watched half of it and then fell asleep. So I parked up in the Laurelhurst neighborhood. I've parked downtown before, uh, but I didn't want to stay downtown there because it's always a little bit noisy. So um, this neighborhood is really quiet. So this was good, I think, better. I find when I'm overtired, I need a little more quiet outside the van. 
So it was nice to have that super quiet. In fact, it was eerily quiet. It was so quiet. Anyway, not a complaint, just uh, good and needed. So got my coffee. Um, not sure what I'm going to do today. I, I've got to get some supplies, well, you know, food and things for, uh, for the coming work week. So I should probably do that. Yeah. As I had it in there, I all of a sudden remembered that I had bought bread yesterday, so I'm actually pretty good for everything else, but I ended up buying a few things. I bought a big carton of oatly oat milk. I've been I've been using this uh, barista blend oatly oat milk in my coffee, but these are four to five dollars a carton, depending on where you buy them. And this is $5 for half a gallon. So I'm gonna try this and hopefully I like this one. Uh, that There's some good and bad with that though, because I'm buying it here because I can never find this particular one in stock in, uh, in and around Seattle. It's always sold out the few companies that have it. So I'm gonna try it and hopefully, hopefully I like it. And if I like it, hopefully I can buy it in Seattle. Um, anywho, I, it'll save me some money because these these are just grossly expensive and I need to start cutting back a little bit if I can. Anyway, like everybody else. And in case I don't like it for my coffee, um, this one, I bought some cereal. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just eat it with cereal and then I'll, I'll get rid of it. But somehow I think I'm going to like it. And I'm not trying to make this a grocery haul, but I, I did buy some chips because I have some hummus that I bought the other day. And I bought some apples because they were on sale. Uh, I bought some snacks for work. I really like these Lara bars. Um, I eat them at break at work. Uh, I like them because they don't have a lot of junk in them. They're basically based on dates, and then they have a few other things that make the, the flavor of them. Um, they're not overly sweet even though they are dates, uh, date-based, but, um, yeah, I like these. Um, I also bought some toothpaste because, I don't know, just changing up things. Uh, and then the other thing was, it was kind of a good thing I came to this location because I keep forgetting that, uh, I needed some fuses, so I ran next door to O'Reilly Auto Parts and bought some fuses. For some reason, I keep blowing a fuse on my 12 volts up front. Um, yeah. Actually, I actually I shouldn't say it's uh, for some reason I keep blowing the fuse. The reason that it keeps blowing is actually quite simple. This is the cord that I plug my Jackery uh, power box into, so this little thing. Um, I use this occasionally. I was I was using it a lot more for a little while, but I'm just using it kind of occasionally now. Uh, it's kind of a nice thing to have from time to time. But what was happening with this was this little piece was coming undone. There's a uh, there's a fuse inside here. Um, it wasn't on there very tight, I guess, from the factory, and so this this was coming undone, coming apart. And when I would pull it out of the 12 volt socket, it would come apart and the little metal pieces would short out between the, uh, the little charging points inside the 12 volt socket. And so um, I've now tightened this right down so it's not coming loose anymore. In fact, I don't think I can get it loose with my fingers. That's good. So it's just jiggling around when, it was, when I was driving and, and then it would come, come loose. Um, so, now that I've got this actually tightened uh, with a pair of pliers, hopefully that won't come loose again and keep blowing out my uh, 12 volt socket up front. So uh, now I've got to do a little surgery because I've got to get into the box in the front of the, uh, under the hood to change out this. It's kind of a fiddly little operation.
reason I say this is fiddly is I have to take these screws out. I guess they make this cover sort of waterproof. It was quiet earlier. Lots of traffic now. Anyway, um, so I got to get the screwdriver out, take out these screws, and then get to the fuse. All right, Jackery's charging again. That's good. Okay, I am ready for lunch. I debated whether to just make lunch at home or eat out. I really should make lunch at home. I know I was just saying I sh should uh, cut back on how much I'm spending on groceries and all, but uh, and food in general. I'm just gonna go out for lunch. This little restaurant was incredibly busy and for good reason. While the food wasn't exactly authentic Mexican food, it was phenomenally good. I just really enjoyed these tacos. I had barbacoa tacos and carnitas tacos. Just awesome. Well, I have done so much walking around the last two days and so much driving around, more walking than driving this trip, I think, that I am tired out. And uh, I figure it's probably time to head back towards Seattle. I really kind of like the drive back to Seattle, but I usually don't kind of get myself out of Portland very quickly. And uh, so I usually end up driving back when it's dark. And when it's dark, you know, there's nothing really to see. Um, when you're driving so I'm gonna go back now since it's kind of mid-afternoon hopefully it'll be a little bit uh, prettier of a drive we'll see so I decided to grind up some of the coffee that I bought yesterday this uh, black magic from groundwork uh, good stuff I might as well crack into it and enjoy it right I get a long drive it's gonna be more than two hours if I don't make any stops. So I make up a cup. Sometimes I make up a thermos of coffee too, but um, I do kind of like to uh, stop a couple of times at least on, on the drive up there. Two hours in one shot anymore to me is a lot of driving. So I uh, just kind of plan on whenever I do this little trip or, or whenever I take a long drive. I just plan on taking my time and if there's something I see that looks nice, I'll get off the road and, uh, and check it out. And that gives me another opportunity just to have a little snack or to make some coffee. So, but I like to start off with a cup anyway, but you probably already knew that. I always find it a little bit funny that I enjoy spending so much time in Portland because it's not a city that I'd really want to live in full-time. I wish I could say why it is that I wouldn't want to live in Portland full-time. Uh, and maybe that'll change in the future, but my, my, my only real issue with it is that it's just kind of a crazy high-energy place. Seems like it's always just buzzing there. And um, I, uh, I don't do all that well with high-energy places. So yeah, I am a city guy, but I'm I'm uh, just really not that into real crazy high energy cities. New York City is one of those cities that is too much too much energy for me. But I like Portland, and I'm sure I'll be back here more uh, over the summer. It's a little easier to travel when the weather's better, and I think this trip the weather was pretty good. Rained a little bit. But uh, like, like I said, I think I said earlier that uh, it seemed to rain more when I was either sleeping or just happened to be in the van. So when I've been out and about, the weather's actually been pretty good. So all in all, a good trip. Uh, I always enjoy coming down here. Especially when I can uh, really load up on really good coffee. And I'm really happy that I found my favorites. 
coffee from uh, California. It'll just make me want to get back to Portland more often to get more of it. I probably should have bought two or three bags, but uh, I only have room for so much here, of course. Anyway, um, time to hit the road. I should get back to Seattle sooner than later because the van is a mess. So I've got a lot to clean up. I really should do laundry too, but that's probably going to have to wait for a weekday. I can always just run after work and do that. But uh, hoping for a good drive back. You never know. The freeway can get a little jammed up uh, with people heading back towards Seattle since it is Sunday late afternoon now. But uh, like I said, all in all, a good trip. Always enjoy going to Portland. And I probably should just sign off here and say what I usually say. Thanks a lot for watching. I, I really appreciate it.